And we're live. You guys was... talk about West Virginia? Say that again. What's going on in West Virginia? So in West Virginia, I guess they've had some issues getting people to sign up for the, the Corona vaccine. <clears throat> I can't imagine why. And, uh, and so they came up with this, uh, this sort of giveaway lottery program where if you get vaccinated, they're giving away pickup trucks and hunting rifles. <laughs> in Ohio, you get a billion yeah. dollars. A, I think there's... there might be cash on the line too. Like, like there's there's yeah. a whole bunch of prizes. It's it's like a fucking uh, potluck or something. There's <laughs> there's like custom hunting rifles, like like uh, pickup trucks, and I think cash prizes too. We're doing that in L.A. too. I think we got like fifteen million dollars and a uh, bunch of a uh, bunch of Dodgers gear. In Ohio, they they give a million dollars. Like the, there's been a couple of winners. There's been two winners so far. They get a million dollars for getting their COVID vaccine. I, on one hand, I get it. I get why it makes like public sense. You know, if you get that many more people to sign up, it's probably worth the million dollars a week in economic activity to have the vaccine that much more uh, widely distributed. And uh, cool, cool. I get it. On the other hand, it it just seems like the a free vaccine should be incentive enough, right? I'm about to get a third shot just because I've never had free health care before. This is amazing. <laughs> These fucks need a million dollars to go. Okay. I think um, even if you got vaccinated, you're automatically like retroactively enrolled. Hmm. Not. North I, I'm pretty sure I read that. Oh, in California, I'm, I'm almost positive that I read that. But yeah, I don't think North Carolina has a program like this. But be neat if my kids won. I, I yeah. wish I had gotten into some sort of a lottery. I, I was there first day. Why don't I? Why don't I get anything other than protected from yeah. a deadly disease? I claim seasonal effect wait. disorder as my like serious ailment so i should get it early <laughs> that's yeah, my yeah, level I, of enthusiasm i told some kind of a small lie that couldn't be verified i don't remember what it was <laughs> like I, high blood pressure or something like that like, what are they gonna do put a cuff on me like, uh, give me the fucking shot give me the fucking yeah. shot i don't care they had plenty they had plenty so they were running out yeah, in north carolina <laughs> all you had to do was go to a republican area and there were plenty of extra shots <laughs> give them yeah, something yeah. that can't be verified name's the easiest thing to verify <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> so you have insomnia they can't disprove that <laughs> i'm so a sleep study on right. me I told yeah. him I was running a fever. <laughs> oh, and I, I, was in like a, I was in like a smooth criminal. I would have pulled that syringe. I would have pulled that syringe out of the arm of a sick old woman if it meant I got the vaccine a day. Early. I could just I'm imagine here. them being like, "All right, stick out your arm," and you're just like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, mean, I forgot place. something in my car and you're out there running around your car. <laughs> uh, so, so Dick, you you're, you're flexing? <laughs> Dick, you're flexing avoiding so the vaccine? Me? <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting that shit. It's, it'll make you gay. It's full of little. It's full of uh, Bill Gates's robots. I don't oh want to think. Oh my this, god! Not only you're a conspiracy theorist, but you're, you're, you're homophobic. I, mean, I keep I keep <laughs> explaining to people that. Uh, not getting the vaccine increases death. Why would I get the vaccine to stop <laughs> this beautiful virus that God gave us to remove the fat and the old? It yeah. does think seem we're like God's the plan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nothing could be more perfectly created to get rid of the fat and the old, and we're just we're just wasting it. So you know no, I will not. Still making sense. We've, making sense. We've strayed far um, from God's plan. Kyle, what was your question? Do you know any people who are still anti-vax, who are just like, you people have really fucked yourselves over. Don't you know that 4,800 people died? Became gay? (laughs) (laughs) What if some guy's like waiting to come out of the closet and he's like, this is my chance. The vaccine made me gay. (laughs) (laughs) Goddamn vaccine. Finally, they'll have to accept me. You were were a million percent right. Alex Jones is right. It made me gay. (laughs) And there's no reversing it. I just want to see how hard it will be because I think I think I'm immune naturally. Like that's a thing. My girlfriend had it. We didn't take any COVID. We wouldn't take any precautions at all, and I didn't get it. So I figure I must be immune. But I want to see what it's like getting around in life without having one of those stupid cards. Like what am I? What am I going to be allowed to do? What what lengths am I going to have to go through? How many lies will I have to tell to exist in this world? Is California Um, still like totally shut down? Oh, yeah, yeah, we get out. They open it up on Juneteenth. 
Uh, for us, I think a lot of stuff bars. around California has been opening though. Like you can go down to at least I've done in Huntington Beach. You can go into restaurants and stuff and like indoor seating and whatnot. Fucking everything yeah. is open in Missouri and has been for months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have to go outside to find that out. <laughs> I'd, have, I'd have to go to uh, around to my favorite bar. Well known. <laughs> Yeah, you should go get a beer, Woody, just to be like, what have I been missing? <laughs> Nothing that I want to do. And then just leave. Yeah. <laughs> I only brought it up because <clears throat> one of my friends, and uh, I'll use your real name because people don't know, Kyle is his actual name. Kyle, uh, I like you a lot, um, but the fact that you don't believe in the vaccine. I like Kyle also. That you, that you haven't gotten the vaccine is, is troubling to many of your friends and and. We're, we're not trying to throw it in your face or make you feel foolish. We just care about you. And when you quote those statistics that you find from the internet, we all just shake our heads because we like you. We care about you. <laughs> because we like you. Oh, you, is this? Well, I, don't I just say right I know now. Kyle by his other name more. It took me a second to figure out yeah. the, the, who we were talking to. Yeah, I guess uh, there was that report from the CDC that like 4,800 people um, out of the 200 million who were vaccinated died like a week after the vaccination. And it's just like, mm. I wonder wow. why. I mean, they vaccinated the old, the sick and the old first, you know, like, like, they, like, like I, I'm shocked. The fact that there was only 4,800 leads me to believe there's something in the COVID vaccine that keeping you alive. That keeps Dude, there is, people there is, alive. They slip <laughs> some like, adrenaline like, in like there. Too low of a total. That many old I, people. I was like, wait, 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 that can't be possible. They vaccinated two, only 4,800 died. I have thought 20,000 just from like, Rant like Dude, some of those tables, yeah. yeah. They just yeah. would have had strokes on their own in that window of time. I imagine. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense. It, but but he was just like, aha, vindicated. And I'm just like, <laughs> nah, man, no. Nah. And he's like, you are all never... gang. And he was like, you're all ganging up on me in here. And somebody was like, man, we all just kind of see things the same way. We're not. We didn't sign a blood oath or anything against you. It's just that you're saying that the sky is falling and we're all just letting you know that it's just a little drizzle and we're not all going to die and you should really get vaccinated. Yeah. In a few seconds, man's driving on the highway. He hears a report over the radio. Be careful out there driving because there's a person going the wrong way. And he looks around and says, you know what? Everyone's going the wrong way. <laughs> That's you, Kyle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's you. Kyle, stay strong. Don't let these bullies bullies take control of your medical decisions. It's your body. It's your choice. Oh, that's a good one. If they they believed in the vaccine, they wouldn't be trying to make you get it. That's the real. It's that little sliver of doubt in them that they know it's all bullshit, that that's why they want you to get it and be on board. Everybody's got to believe in it. You know what? I just decided the kind of guy I'm going to be just from Dick. I'm going to be the kind of guy who waves a pencil or pen around while I make a point. <laughs> I like I like that guy. You're, you're, you're the conductor of your own symphony over there. <laughs>